spring, so you've already been seeing those mosquito hawks buzzing and flying around. I saw one yesterday when I was walking my dog. Wow. Yeah. All right. So truth is, hopefully this is not the truth for you, but you might have one or two flying around your house right now. You better look around. This morning, let's bring in uh, Dr. Uh, Sonia Swiger, an entomologist at Texas A&M University, uh, to talk about the potential boom and whether or not these flies are harmful. Good morning to you, doctor. Morning, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for being here with us for a couple of minutes. So these mosquito hawks, what exactly are they and are these good or bad for us? Yeah, they're actually called crane flies. That's their real name. A lot of people refer to them as mosquito hawks, but they're very harmless flies that just happen to hatch out in early spring. So they're not mosquitoes. They don't no. bite you. They're not harmful, but what are we supposed to do? Because they freak us out. I mean, they're massive. They're huge. Yes, yes, they are very large, and that does creep people out, especially with their really long legs. But they are harmless, and they're, they're very important for our ecosystem early on in the spring so that other animals have things to eat. So we were referencing this as a boom this year, so we likely could see a lot more this year compared to previous years? Well, you know, we see more when we have wetter weather, right? So we've had a wet winter and we're having some warm temperatures already. So that's when we see a lot more of them. But as we start to dry up, they'll start to be less numbers of them. How long do they usually last? Like, I mean, are they like, you know, like a, what, a house flies, like 24 hours or something yeah. like that? Do they last for months or weeks or, or when, when do we see them go away? Yeah, they're usually listed to, list to, to live about two weeks, right? So most of them aren't going to make it for very long. Their main purpose in their adult stage is to reproduce. Uh, so that life span is pretty short. So these mosquito hawks, they got their name specifically because they eat mosquitoes? Is that, is that more or less where they come from? Well, you know, that's what people always thought, but they actually do not. They have no role in controlling mosquitoes. Most of them don't even have mouth parts, so they're unable mm. to eat anything. Okay, so if they're not harmless, they're just unattractive. Are we? Yeah, I guess you're saying just we're supposed to leave them alone because they do help the ecosystem and they don't hurt us. Correct. They are harmless, yeah. So we're not really supposed to do anything about them, and they really won't live very long. But people are just kind of creeped out, like you said. Plus, with their really long legs, they really make people uncomfortable. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, so if we see one, just leave them alone. Don't <laughs> just let Mind them do them, and, and you do you, basically. Yeah. Yeah, if you can, if you can. <laughs> okay. Well, doctor, we appreciate you and all of your advice on this one. I, at least it's helping people like me. I'm new to Texas, so I would have assumed the opposite, yeah. that they were mosquitoes, that I was going to have all these huge welts on my arm. And I won't have that, and many of our viewers will know that now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Thankfully, mosquitoes are a little bit smaller than these, but, yeah, these are definitely not going to hurt you. That's gotcha. good to know, though, because you thought you were like, oh, is this like a mutation of a mosquito, yeah. and they're getting massive? Okay, so the, the big ones, leave them alone. Okay, we appreciate you, Dr. Swire. You're very welcome. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much.